stampers and thanks for joining me for part two of our popping into Halloween series. Part one was creating this super cute witch's broom using a Tootsie Pop. Yes, a Tootsie Pop. So stinking cute. Today's episode part two is making a popcorn treat bag. Super cute. You are absolutely going to love it. Let's get started. We are starting off with a generic lunch bag. True story. It all starts with a lunch bag. I'm going to take this puppy, open it up. There, just like that. Kind of fold it. So it's almost kind of inside out. I'm going to fold on that line that was the bottom of the bag. And then fold it back on itself. And if you're looking down on, we have kind of a Z. This episode of Stamp with Timmy is brought to you by the letter Z. I'm going to start cutting slits. Start along one side, make them maybe a half an inch. I'm not going all the way to the top. I don't want to cut the very bottom off and I want to leave a little bit here. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be totally straight. Have some fun. So when you unfold it, your bottom of your bag is still intact and you have a section here that hasn't been cut that we can fold over when we open it. That's kind of the trick to the whole thing is leaving that one little area. And it was so easy to do. You can make paper lanterns like this too for another time. Let me take a minute to tell you about our popcorn. This bag is a gusseted bag from Stampin' Up. It is the perfect size. You can get it in my online store. Any kind of popcorn will do. But if you're like me and have some really cute Boy Scouts in your family, Trails and Popcorn is the Boy Scout fundraiser. It happens to be going on right now. Hint, hint. It makes, and it is a perfect little snack to put in these. Redenbacher or any other microwave or Jiffy Pop. Any kind of popcorn will do. Just had to plug our scouts because we love them. And we need all the fundraising help we can get. We're going to slide that bag of popcorn right inside. See how these Stampin' Up! cell bags are just the perfect size. And for the broomstick handle, we're just going to use a pretzel rod. And for sanitary reasons, I'm going to take another perfectly sized Stampin' Up! cello bag. And these are their 1 inch by 8 inch cello bags. And be sure to wash your hands as well. Tammy's public service announcement for the day. This just keeps your pretzel rod from getting kind of icky because it's going to be exposed. We're going to stick that right in the middle. Then we're just going to bunch in that top like so. And I've got some of Stampin' Up's hemp twine. Linen thread works great too. I'm going to pull it real tight and wrap it around a few times. and then tie it in a knot. Now we just need our stinking cute tag. Our tag shape comes from the wider of the two tags Big Shot die. Place some old olive on that. Sandwich your die between two cutting pads and crank it to the Big Shot machine. Easiest tag shape ever. We are going to be using the Beautiful Occasion stamp set. This is all one stamp. But I've made it into two. Don't miss my video on clear mount stamps, tips, and tricks to learn some other fun things you can do. Stampin', get your broom, cast your spell, and shake your booty on the bottom right hand. And stamping our super cute witch's boot in basic black on very vanilla. Okay, now we're going to do some cool stuff with Stampin' Right markers. I'm going to start with the top. And then I'm going to draw circles inside of the circles to make like eyeballs. Spooky fun. And then I'll take the black and draw little smaller dots inside of those. That is just too stinking cute. Little tangerine tango for the belt. 
And then I'm going to switch over to the fine tip end for the stripes at the bottom. We're going to every other one, Tangerine Tango and Old Olive. Both Tangerine Tango and Old Olive are in the Bold Brights Stamp and Write Marker assortments. So you can get them together in one shot. So that layers on some black. See my blog for the measurements. Back to our little taggy here. We got some of Stampin' Up's Polka Dot Parade designer paper here. I'm using Rich Razzleberry. This is fun. Lots of dots. And that just attaches to the tag. And Stampin' Up's 2012 Holiday Mini, we have this really cool striped satin basic gray ribbon. It is fabulous and it looks great on this project. I touch that piece with some snail and I'm gonna take one more section right off the roll so you always have the perfect size with no excess and no waste. Just tying a knot, we shall call it the faux knot because it's kind of fake. It's not really going through. Stick that on with some snail or a mini glue dot. That rhymes. Faux knot, glue dot. Four stampin' dimensionals on the back of this panel are gonna rise it up and make it pop on this tag. I'm gonna stick it down and our tag is done. She is a beaut. <laughs> it's quite possible that she is cuter than my impersonation of a witch laugh is. Gonna just put that hemp right through there and tie it right on. And she is stinking cute. Oh, love it. Kind of reminds me of Fantasia, doesn't it? The little dancing broomsticks. Don't miss part one in our series with the Tootsie Pop broomstick. Thanks again to Susan Adams and Janet Baker, the dynamic duo, for inspiring these awesome projects for this Halloween. And you can be sure to pop over to my blog for more inspiration and to purchase any of these supplies. And for the supply list, go to this URL. Thanks for joining me today.